What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. So before we get into the walk around, yes, the Z06 is still here and yes, I still fully intend on bidding on it uh, if it ever comes up for auction. This is a uh, 32,000 mile 2019 Z06. This is an automatic and I was talking to Sam Crack about it the other day. And I told him, I said, I think I can get this for about $30,000. And he said, that's wishful thinking. <laughs> he said, maybe you can get it for $30,000. He said, but he doesn't think so. He does not think I'm going to be able to get this for thirty grand. So what do you guys think? How much do you think this is going to go for? It is salvaged. It is a theft recovery. If I remember correctly, there is supposedly undercarriage damage is what it was listed as. Um, again, 32,000 miles, automatic variety. Let's see if it's got any juice. Nope, she died. We haven't, uh-oh, she died with the keys in it too, I'll bet. Yep. Uh, last time I checked it, this thing fired up and uh, yeah, well, not anymore. This is an automatic transmission. It's got relatively good tires. The body looks good. I don't see anything really wrong with this car other than it's absolutely filthy and somebody stole it. So what do you think? Do you think I can get this for around $30,000 or you agree with Sam Crack and you think maybe I'm dreaming. Looks like the BMW 650 is still sitting here. This is the one that's flood damaged with a rattling engine. Oh, and then this one, the AMG GTS, if I remember right, is still here also. Parts in base, so it comes with some extra parts. 2016, yeah, AMG GTS. Man, this thing is, uh... <sighs> This thing is sweet. I don't. I gotta stay away from this kind of stuff, guys. We need to. We need to go. We need to go back and stick to the, the stuff we can actually afford on this channel. The things that I don't end up losing thousands and thousands of dollars on when I sell them. You know, something like this. Here you go. A Challenger RT. Actually, I already have an. I already have an SRT. I got the. Uh, I got the Scat Pack. So this, this is something I really don't need. Although the damage on this doesn't look bad. This looks. This is worse than the damage from me hitting the deer. And this is really not that bad, guys. Needs a core support, needs a bumper, whatever. The impact piece, you know what I mean? The uh, plastic's all broken off, headlights, hood's fine, fenders are fine. <clears throat> Grill obviously gonna need to be replaced, upper and lower. I'd just get a loaded bumper if you could find one. Uh, for a decent price. I'd get a loaded bumper for this. And actually, you know what? The core support looks fine. I thought maybe the core support was damaged. I don't think it is. I don't think any of this is damaged. You need this little plastic. I don't even know what the hell this is. Uh, probably this piece too. Yeah, this is broken. Oh, she's got undercarriage damage. Hold up. See, I missed that. Yeah, she's got undercarriage damage as well. Well, scratch that one, guys. Let's go back over to the other side. The GTR is still sitting here. I had a lot of you say instead of bidding on the Z06, you wanted me to bid on the GTR instead. I don't know, guys. All four wheels bent. There are lots of parts missing. Parts for these GTRs aren't cheap either, guys. All right, and with all four wheels damaged like this, I worry that there's some undercarriage damage, suspension damage maybe as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody wants a GTR. But uh, you got to understand how much parts are for this car and how much it's going to cost to fix. Especially when you can't see underneath what the under, underlying undercarriage damage is on this, guys. The wheels I could do without. It's not a big deal to go find some stock wheels for it. Uh, I can find a lot of these parts online. I think J&J Auto Wrecking may actually have some parts for this uh, right now. But they're not cheap, guys. And it's not a cheap car either. So for me, I think instead of taking a risk on this, I'd probably rather go with a Z06. But comment below and tell me what you think. Z06 or a GTR? How about a pair of Thunderbirds, guys? Kind of odd to see. Number one, you don't see these anymore. These just don't exist. And then to find two of them right next to each other is absolutely crazy at the same auction. This is a 97 Thunderbird. This is probably going to be the 3.8 liter V6. It's got a lot of clear coat damage. The paint's damaged. Overall, though, not a not a bad looking car. Let's take a look at the interior. Leather, oh. yeah, we got leather interior. We've got 160,000 miles on the odometer. Passenger window, it has it. It's just, uh, well, 
part way down. This is not too bad, guys, even if it's a V6. If it runs, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what we do. It says it's a non-runner, though. That doesn't surprise me. I'll bet these things have probably been sitting for a while. Let's see, where is the, uh, the hood release? I think on these it's on one side or the other. There it is, yeah. Uh, oh, it's a 4.6. Oh, and it's had mice, squirrels, all kinds of stuff under here eating it. Perfect. Oh, it's the V6, guys. Or the, the V8, I'm sorry, 4.6. I think the heat is already getting to me, and I just got here. It doesn't, it doesn't take long. Oil looks really good. Clean. I love these, man. I really do. I Don't ask me why. Don't ask me to explain it. I can't. I just love these. Like I said, even if it was the V6, I'd be interested in it, but it's not. It's the 4.6, guys, the V8. Let me throw a jump on it. Let's just see what it'll do. It may actually already have power, so that booster pack may not have been necessary. Looks like somebody just made a key for this car, so I'm assuming it showed up with no keys. Hey, that's a brand new key, guys. I heard the fuel pump. It says it's a non-runner. It runs. Okay, we got all the books. We'll put those back in the in the glove box. What do you think the chance cigarettes? Hell yeah. Uh, factory radio. On insight for works. Air conditioning. Oh, if you tell if the air conditioning works on this. So the window regulator is bad on that side. Works on this side. We have a service engine soon light, low coolant light. Brakes. Steering. It goes backwards and forwards. Man, are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> you guys know me by now, right? I love these old piles, man. <laughs> I really do. I am a, yeah, air conditioning works by the way, guys. AC is ice cold, no joke. I am a sucker for these old turds. Sun, uh, the sunroof, the headliner's in good shape, back seat's in good shape, that seat's in good shape, even the driver's front seat's in pretty good shape for 160,000 miles. I can't believe that. I can't believe that it runs. And it says it doesn't. Boy, she is rough, though, on the outside, man. Now, that's nothing a Mako paint job couldn't take care of, you know? You could make this thing look pretty good. I mean, it really doesn't have all that much damage except for on the hood. You really need to replace the hood or, I don't know, how many dents? One, two, three, four, four or five dents. Maybe they could fix that. Fix this dent, fix this dent, fix this dent. Let's take another look. Is it bad on this side? No. Okay, so a few dents need to be patched up. Get it repainted. And this would honestly be a pretty sick looking car. The problem is, how much is it worth? Right? How much is it worth? Probably not a lot. Even with a fresh coat of paint and the dings popped out of it, it's still an old T-Bird, man. These things aren't worth a lot of money. Tires? They're Continental. Actually look to be in pretty good shape. Same back here. Continental in pretty good shape. They're good enough to drive on for a while. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on the watch list, guys. And uh, if it goes cheap enough, I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the channel. All right, well, it's on my watch list. Now we're going to move on to the second one. This one has Uniroils with the white walls on it. It's got like a pearlescent pinkish color to it. Man, I actually, I actually like this. Uniroil Tiger Paws. Look at these tires. They're like brand new. Wow. This is a 93 run and drive, another donation. This got a sunroof. It's got the, what do you call this top? Is this the Landau top? I think that's what they call it. I can't remember, but it's in, uh, well, it's in pretty bad shape. Unfortunately, that top really kind of messes the whole deal up for me because I know how much those, co those costs to repair, replace, like this one is done. Okay, it's split, cut, cracked, it's broken. Th this top is done. So to get this redone, it's going to cost some serious money, guys. Now, is the car worth it? 
I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Mercury Cougar. The seat belts still work. Remember those automatic retracting seat belts? White leather interior? I don't know, maybe. Maybe the rest of the car is in such good shape that it would make it worth it. I'm not quite sold on it yet. Is this hood open? Yeah, let's see what's going on under here. Well, come on. There we go. Oh, and there it went. <laughs> there, there it went. I thought for sure this was going to be a uh, an eight-cylinder, and it's not. It's the V6. So, <coughs> well, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Looks like it's had some BG services done on it. Somebody took care of it. Die-hard gold battery. Looks like it's got a newer alternator, newer V-belt, or a newer serpentine belt. Uh, somebody definitely loved the car. I'm just... Uh, I'm more inclined to buy that one. You know, I think that one, even though it's got some, some dings and dents that need pulled out and it needs a paint job, I would take that over this one being a V6, needing a complete top. I do like those wheels and tires though. And I think it's cool that it's got those old school automatic retracting seat belts. This side does not appear to work. Nice white leather with the like black fake wood grain. I do kind of like it. I do. It says it runs. Oh, we got the digital dash too. Oh man. If only this thing was a V8. Those old school digital gauges. Wow. I heard the compressor. <laughs> this one's going to have cold air conditioning too. No way. Radio. FM. Thing. Yeah, radio works. What about the antenna? Nah, antenna doesn't work. Mileage is 203, 248. You guys probably can't see much of anything down there. But uh, take a look at these gauges. Tell me these are not cool. And over here you've got your little computer. Fuel gauge. AC is cold. Compressor's making a little bit of noise. AC is cold though. Important window works. <laughs> that one does not. Same thing with the Cougar uh, in front, or the Thunderbird in front of us. Uh, the Thunderbird in front of us has a working driver's side window, but the passenger side window does not function. Club box. Uh-oh. Well, there we go. I mean, it's definitely a cool car. And it goes forward and reverse. I mean, what do you want? V6 though, guys. V6. This one would have to go really, really cheap for me to have any interest in it at all, honestly. I, between the top, the top really kills it for me. And then the fact it's a V6, I, I don't know, man. You guys comment below, tell me what you think. But honestly, I think this is the one right here. So I find this one interesting. 2024 Mazda 3. I thought maybe this was an Enterprise rental car or something. It's not. It also says it doesn't run. It doesn't drive. It's a 2024. It's brand new. I don't see any damage to this car at all. From Bob Moore Mazda? This is literally a brand new car, guys. What could possibly be wrong with it? There's nothing. The car looks to be in perfect condition. And non-running? Oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> well, hold on. Did somebody vandalize it? Oh, what? It's got a Mazda part number on it, and it's just like... Yeah, if it doesn't have a computer, that could be a problem. These are interior components right here. Looks like everything on the engine is still together, but these, these pieces go in the interior. And I'll bet this probably goes in the interior too, but they just shoved it all under the hood. This is, this is bizarre. Was it vandalized while it was 
on the showroom floor or something? I, it doesn't even have power. This is straight, guys, this is literally a brand new car. I Are the pretensioners blown? No, they're not, okay. Man, you just never know what you're gonna run into out here. Floor mats are upside down. God, it's a brand new car. See, this is the module that's under the hood. Yeah, this is the module that they stuck under the hood with those interior trim pieces. What is going on with this? You know we gotta throw a jump on it. We gotta see if we can get this one to do anything. I'm gonna put this one on the watch list just because this is a this is an interesting car right here. Not so much the car itself, but how there could be something so wrong with a brand new car that an insurance company would total it. It's not like it's hail damaged. I'm gonna take these components, guys, and I'm putting them in the car because they don't belong under the hood. This looks like some kind of an aftermarket or something. It's got it's got writing on it as if it came from a salvage yard or something. What is this? Like a body control module? It says uh, VC 85 67560. It's got all kinds of numbers on it. I don't know. I'd be curious to maybe plug this in and see if that does anything. Let me throw a jump on this real quick, guys. Let's see if we can get this car to do anything at all. All right, she's got juice now. I didn't even check to see if it's got keys. Yeah, it's got keys. It's got both keys. What do you think the mileage is on this? I mean, it's a 24. It can't be much, right? Oh. Literally nothing? It does nothing at all? Nothing. Oh, wow. No kidding. Yeah, she, she, she does nothing. I'm going to go out on a limb here, guys. I'm going to say that, uh, you know, there's some fuses and stuff down here, too. Maybe, just maybe, possibly. She's got some uh, electrical problems. Maybe, maybe something caught on fire. I don't know. She's got volts. I mean, we're sending the power straight through her. She ain't getting nothing, which to me, first place I would start is right here because underneath here, you've got a bunch of uh, fuses right there. You got one there, 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 and there. And we have a couple wires disconnected here. Are there are a couple wires not hooked up. I don't know. Those fuses, though, look good. You can't always tell by looking at them, but they actually do look like they're all right. This could be fun, guys. I'm, I'm being serious. Like, this could, this could be a load of fun if we wanted to jump into something with some pretty serious electrical problems. You could probably get it stupid cheap. So just for kicks, I'm gonna put this on the watch list. I'm gonna run a Carfax report on it as well as an auto check report. And I think I'll probably do my auto ASTAT report on it as well to see if this thing's been run through any previous auctions. The fact that you hook power directly to the battery, but yet the car has no power at all, it, it sounds to me like a main fuse is blown what do you guys think let me know on the 2024 mazda 3. well uh this car is actually a junk title it's not salvaged it's junked for electrical says the odometer is 12 miles 12 miles somebody's got to explain this to me man I, I this just became a whole lot more confusing where they got 12 miles from, I have no idea because the car doesn't show anything. Nothing comes on at all. Obviously electrically damaged, but it's not just salvaged. This is junked. That means this car can never be on the road again. It's a brand new car that has a junk title, but we have no idea why. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in seeing this on the channel? See if we can maybe get it running? Let me run some checks on this, do a little history research on it, try to figure out what's going on. I know the dealership it came from, so maybe they could help out. Uh, I'm definitely interested in digging into this. The problem is we can't spend too much money on it because it's never going to be able to be used by anybody again. Now listen, I know this isn't the most exciting car you're ever going to see. It's a Pontiac Torrent. I don't even know what that is. It's got 160,000 miles on it and it's totaled, hail damaged. It's got, you know, average tires. They're usable. It's 
got some dings and things here and there, scrapes and scratches, uh, you know, broken tail light fixed with masking tape or whatever you call that tape. Uh, the hail damage, you know, when you're looking at something like this, does it really matter? It's older, it's cheap, it'll probably get you by for a while. I don't know what engine's in it. I'm assuming this is like an Ecotec. It's actually pretty clean, especially considering the mileage, guys. Let's see what engine it's got in it. The hail damage, I don't know if it comes out on video or not, but yeah, it's got it. It's got hail damage. The 3400, no kidding. The old school 3400. I didn't even know they put these in these things. Wow. All right, it's a run and drive. Salvage for hail. And you got a little damage to the seat there. No big deal. Does that have power? It does. It's got power. Might actually fire up on its own. Let's put a key in it. Up, oh, you got to do the GM jiggle. If you guys don't know, it's a it's a dance you do with GMs of this era. Fired right up. 160,000 miles, as it said. Check engine lights on. Oil changes due. Brake light is on. Does it have a the e brake is not on though? Interesting. Maybe it's low on brake fluid. Air conditioning. Somebody got this turned on already. Oh yeah, cold air. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if this window works. It does. And that window works. It does. Somebody got the uh, oh sunroof. Dang it! I didn't mean to mess with that. There we go. It's closed. Um. All right. I assume the radio radio works. I don't know why the brake light is on though. It goes right into gear backwards. And forwards. She moves, guys. All right, it's not the most exciting vehicle on the channel, you know, but hey, if you need something that runs and drives, you don't mind a little bit of hail damage, guys, this is it right here. This is not bad. Colt, guys, today it's like 102 degrees, all right? This has cold air conditioning. I would have literally given parts of my body that I will not mention back in the day when I was much younger and I had nothing when I was out walking around in this heat, I would have literally gave pieces of my body for a vehicle that had cold air conditioning. You know what I mean? Uh, here's an oil change sticker. Uh, 820 to 23, 160, 149. So it's just at the point where it would be due for an oil change. This is crazy, man. It's an awkward, interesting kind of vehicle for sure. And I know you guys are probably already screaming, Nick's first car! I don't think so, guys. This is a little bit bigger than he would want. I'm trying to figure out why these lights are all on and, and how to turn them off. Uh, is there a... There we go. I just... I guess a door is open. I'm going to turn those off because I don't want anybody to come out here, try to start it up and have a dead battery. So what do you think, man? I'm going to bid on this. I am. I'm going to bid on this. This is an easy fix, man. Easy fix because you're not going to fix it. You know, nobody's gonna fix that hail damage. Are you kidding me? This thing ain't worth it. Look, you got a Pioneer subwoofer in the back. This kind of reminds me of an Aztec. It's 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 weird like that. You know what I mean? It's it's very strange. It's very very strange. Even as a tow hitch, guys. Look, need to tow you a little lawn chairly. There you go. You got a tow hitch on this bad boy too. No joke. This <laughs> she runs like a top. Listen to this. Come on now. Come on now. All right, it's it's not pretty. It's old and it's got miles on it, but I'll tell you what. Woo, on a hot day like today, I have no problem sitting in this thing and cooling down and I'd have no issue driving it either. So here's another perfect example of a hail damage totaled salvaged vehicle, a trailblazer. It's, again, not the most exciting, but if you need something that's gonna get you where you need to go, this could be it. The hail damage doesn't appear that bad, mainly because of how bright the color is. It's a really bright silverish gold. I guess depending on how you look at it, maybe the hood's a different color. I don't know. 209,000 miles on the odometer. Um, and you got your 4200 with an Optima uh, dated 2019. So be prepared to replace that battery. Let's put the hood up. Let's see if she's got power. I'll bet this thing runs and drives, guys. 
Tires, you know, kind of average. They'll get you down the road. LS package, meaning cloth interior. No leathers on this one. Woo! Oh, it's hot. Fired right up. Air conditioning is already running. Look at these seats. Look at that headliner. Look at the dashboard. It's not broken apart or anything. Yeah, 205,000 miles on the odometer. We got no warning lights on the dash at all. By the way, AC, let me close, hold on. <laughs> let me close that door. <laughs> hey, I'll take the air wherever I can get it, man. Uh, it is freaking hot today, guys. I ain't even joking. It is, uh, it is very hot today. Important window? Are you kidding me? Works. Less important window works. There's really no lights on the dash. Wait, yes there is. You can barely see it. Hold on. Service engine soon light is on. Let's give her a little rev. Revs up nice. Steering feels good. Is this four wheel drive? No, this is two wheel drive. That's fine. That's fine. Two wheel drive is all right by me. Radio. Radio works. Let's take a look back here, guys. Look at these seats. Guys, this thing is, I, I, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm gonna put this on the list. I may bid on this. Um, a lot of these, even though they're here from insurance companies for things like hail damage, when I pull them up online, I, I, t I tell you guys they're salvage before I bother looking at them because I just assume that they are. But like the last one we looked at that was supposedly salvaged, it wasn't. It says that it's a clear title. So this one may have a clear title too, a clean title, possibly. It's hard to say for sure, but it's possible this one also has a clean title with hail damage. If you need a vehicle, you need something cheap, and you just need to get around, this may do it for you guys. Look at this. Quarter tank of gas, oil pressure's great, voltage good, temperature's coming up nicely, and did I did I mention <laughs> air conditioning? Yeah, this is this is good, guys. Brakes feel good, gears backwards. forwards and stop another little rev very nice i don't see any oil change stickers anywhere so no clue about that but overall well this there we go we found something damaged it needs a new console lid this is this is this is garbage that's it Two hundred thousand miles and that's all you got to worry oh wait 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 hold on this right here this right here there you go Two little things that you got to worry about. This is one of those you could get in and drive. Now, I know some of you guys really like your Mopars, so here's you a, cha a Charger Scat Pack, guys. And she's in bad shape. Looks like she went right up under something or went upside down. Windshield's gone. Lots of damage to the roof. Sunroof is gone. This thing's got a ton of damage, guys. Yeah. It's a wrap. I can't even open that door. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think happened to this one? I'm thinking it went upside. It went under something. Look at all that damage to the hood. And it goes all the way up to the roof. Like it went right underneath something, guys. That's rough. That's real rough. Wheels are all scraped up. I still like it, though. But uh, it's too much for me. Let's move on and see what else we can find. How about a 260,000 mile 2004 Cadillac Escalade with uh, some front end damage? I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's a little rough. I mean, overall, this truck is, it's its kind of rough anyway. So you could probably drive, oh, somebody did some Bondo work back here. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at all that. Look at all that Bondo work. Yeah, uh-huh. So don't think this thing hadn't been hit before. Decent tires, although they, they don't match. Uh, it's the ESV too, man. Long wheelbase. Ooh. It doesn't look too bad, man. It's got the DVD player in the back, tinted windows. It's actually pretty nice. I mean, it's, you know what I mean, it's rough, but it's, it's out, dang. Door burnt me. It's, it, it's gonna need a little work. So, front end, took a hit over here. Um, headlight, yep, gonna need replaced. Hood, probably. Fender, probably. Bumper, definitely. Bent that bumper in pretty good. Fog lights busted as well. Is this the 6.0 or the 6.2 in 04? I think it's a 6.0. Oh, upsy daisy. Yep, 6.0 liter. Vortec. Uh, battery, ooh. Battery got a little lopsided there, huh? 
hell I can't even get to the yeah she there's actually gonna be a little more damage I think I think we got some core sport damage as well that we're not seeing 260,000 miles how's that driver's seat oh yeah I mean honestly for the way these Cadillacs, Tahoes, and Suburbans always look, this isn't bad, guys. The seat's a little ripped up, but it's not too bad. I'm assuming it's dead as a doornail as well. Oh, someone left the key on. That's always nice. So, of course, it's dead. Do we need to start it? Is this one we actually want to look at? I don't know, guys. Uh, I did the Cadillac Escalade thing. To be honest with you, I think I can find better examples with lower miles uh, for probably not too much more money so i think this is one i'm gonna leave to somebody else uh i got a feeling there's more than just a bent bumper going on over there with that i'm gonna get out of here i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did hit the thumbs up button and let me know consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one